Alright guys welcome to your 17th express tutorial in which I'll be extending this application a little bit to make it kind of a more versatile one so so far what we have done is we just um, created this simple um, response for only our home page but let's generalize this response for any page so Let's just say you have a lot of files and you don't want to add each of them by name by name. So what we can do is we can make use of something called as regular expressions to work with. So yeah, so that would work as well. So if you do like app.get and then as you know that regular expressions are included in two delimiters. You can just choose these two as well if you like to but I'll just go with the slashes and I'm gonna say that the name of the file should start with um, anything except a new line and should contain one or more characters and should end with that as well so that is just a regular expression to match a name of a file and then once that is done I want this function to request and response and I'm gonna say that response or basically this thing right here so um, and right here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say request dot params zero and I'm just gonna console log this as well for you guys so that you can see what this is and plus dot HTML and this is the root file alright now if I just create another file here file 2 dot HTML this works good and if I start the server script 17.js go here run and if I try to just go somewhere or not somewhere first let's just go to the valid URL file 2 you can see this shows me this, this works good and in the console we have this zero as file 2 so request dot parameters shows me that um, this is the only parameter which is the name of the file and what I'm gonna do is that if like a user with its a URL which is not valid it shows me a very bad kind of looking error so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna first of all check whether the file exists or not and if it exists then I'm just gonna send that file and if it doesn't then I'm just gonna throw a 404 not found file to the browser so to check if a file exists we are gonna make use of the file system which we have looked upon in last tutorials couple of so I'm just gonna say file system is require FS and right here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say that um, if FS dot stat synchronize and right here what I'm gonna do is I am just gonna say path dot join and right here request dot params zero and dot HTML and don't worry if that doesn't make a lot of sense right now I'm just gonna explain that real soon so if that is true and we need actually a one more thing here so I'm gonna just say is file and uh, yeah I would like to have this here 
all right so now if that is a file then what I want to do is I would like to do this thing right here else I would just like to do this thing again but I would like to throw out the 404 file like that and I'm just gonna create a new 404 hey there what are you looking at so let's just see if that works and uh, not really because I haven't set the reset the server let's just reload this again alright so it shows me a hell lot of trace there and uh, what else can we do I guess we can just throw this whole thing into a try block so what I'm gonna do is let's just get rid of this whole thing I'm just gonna say try to fs if fs dot start synchronized and again we would require this thing path dot join files then I need uh, your request dot params zero then dot html dot is file catch error and I'm just gonna say throw me a 404 All right, so now let's just take a look. Okay. All right, so now we have been shown a 404 not found file because this file doesn't exist. So if I now open, try to open file2.html, file2, and it's still shows me all right so if I just console log this thing right here try to console or just right here so if I just console log this thing right here and uh, if I rerun this code file all oh right so we have got a slash problem here so I'm just gonna append that directly all right so now yeah so all right so finally we have got this works good and that took us a hell lot of time and a few bugs as well but here I am to demonstrate what I've been doing so far again and that's what I have done so if I just get rid of this line so what we are doing in here is that this regular expression just matches any file any file name that begins with one or more characters so this begins with one or more characters indeed and it if it does then it tries to run this code because this code throws an error I would just simply not do without this try block so if it is a file indeed then I would like to throw this file else catch an error catch the error console log it if you like error and send this file so if I again restart the server and go to file 2 
it says nothing because it works file 2x it throws me an error but it is silent error and it doesn't work doesn't appear on the document well there would be um, some good ways to just you know just check whether a file exists or not but this is I'm just having just I've just used the most simple way which you can make use of to check a file with this file stream right there so that's how you create just a simple application web application and now you can just have any new file like my about me.html and you can and just write your own story here and you can just run that on your server as well without any extension like .html or whatever so that would com work completely fine so you're free to go and experiment with this code and I would be just posting all of this code yeah I must tell you on this URL clan.codedam.com and I'll be leaving the link in the description so if you just want to download this application code you can go ahead and check out the description the link would be there for the download and this is by the way the code dam form where you can come and discuss your problems about programming and ask for support so that's all for this one and i'll see you then in the next one don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching